we kind of take it for granted now that we can go anywhere on this planet and take out your phone and it tells you where you are. And we can do that because we have a system of satellites, the Global Positioning Satellites, which was also created here at the Naval Research Laboratory. And we're talking about doing the same thing for energy. Imagine if you could just go anywhere on Earth, you wouldn't have to worry about charging your batteries or where you're gonna plug in and just have energy no matter where you are. Dr. Paul Jaffe is the lead engineer on the project. In 2019, his team set out to demonstrate a vital part of the technology at one of the world's biggest marine testing facilities. A prototype system to transfer power over long distances without using wires. Instead, the power will be sent as a laser beam. So we have here today a two kilowatt laser transmitter and we have a receiver that is made out of photovoltaics, similar to what you would find in a solar panel. And this is really a remarkable capability that unlocks all kinds of amazing possibilities. So the power beam itself is invisible and completely silent. The way that we can help show where it is is with this $20,000 infrared imager. You can see the transmitter sending the beam over 325 meters to the receiver at this end of the basin, which converts that back to electricity for us to use. You'll notice, though, that you cannot see the beam if you just look without an imager. The aim is to ultimately use a scaled-up version to send beams of solar energy collected in space back to Earth. The transmitter would be on a satellite with the receiver down on the Earth's surface. Imagine if we could take the boundless sunlight and space, send it effectively to the ground wherever we need it, whether it's a refugee camp, whether it's a developing country, places that are difficult and expensive to get energy to today. If we could do that in an effective way, it would be truly revolutionary. But firing a giant laser beam at Earth from space might naturally cause alarm. So Paul's team have developed a safety mechanism and are testing it out today. The system should detect when something or someone enters the beam and instantly shut down. This solar circuit breaker means the technology could be used on a much bigger scale in the future. For now though, Paul's team are happy to use the beamed electricity to make a simple cup of joe. This demonstration has exceeded our expectations many times over. We are opening people's eyes to the prospect for this revolutionary technology. As well as creating safe power beams, Paul's team have been working for 10 years on a prototype space solar module called PRAM. Its job is to generate solar power and convert it to a form of energy that could be beamed to Earth. To check that the module would work outside the atmosphere, the team simulated space inside the lab. Liquid nitrogen matched the extreme cold. A vacuum chamber removed the air, while xenon lamps mimicked the intense sunlight. 